go. Good afternoon, everybody. I I believe this is reaching you well, and you can see me very well, and you can see the keyboard, and you can hear the sound. And um, this is me. You're welcome. I think we should say what a prayer uh, before we start, so that. We we'll wait for other persons. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you the glory for this opportunity to, to transfer knowledge and this opportunity to be partakers of this knowledge. We ask Jesus that as we learn and as we teach, that your spirit will move in us, that your spirit will give us grace to understand and to assimilate in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that everyone that is live streaming now will receive that grace. Because they are here, they left all they were supposed to do and they are here for this class. Jesus, I ask that you will teach them yourself. And Lord, they will lose music Turn the world around in the name of Jesus. These I pray for my heart. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I would like us to be very interactive. If you have any question, kindly uh, send a message, kindly chat us. Mr. Victor will tell me the questions. How many persons do we have online now? Okay. Mr. Victor will tell me the questions, and I have Mr. Victor here, he's a very good friend of mine. And then, if you don't understand something, be very free, let me know, chat me up, I'll make sure I explain. I, I, I made a promise that I'll be very open-hearted here, so I'll teach you beginner's piano from the beginning. And I trust that after this class, you will be very good at what you do. So let's go straight to this. And meanwhile, this is um, this is a time, this is the kind of way to celebrate my mom. Her birthday will be in the month of August, 17th of August, actually. So this class will be held every Saturday till on the 15th of August, which is the Saturday before her birthday. Her birthday is on Tuesday. So we can um, we can help me celebrate her. And, Thank God for this. This can continue if we are interested in it, and I think we'll talk about that if we see the progress of this and the commitment of this. Thank you very much. Straight to the point. Now, the keyboard, as we know, is a musical instrument. The keyboard is like the piano. The keyboard is a musical instrument that is um, made and fashioned like the piano. Now, the piano, the grand piano, as you know, I don't know if you've seen the grand piano before. It's the big black one that is being mounted in houses and churches and in big organizations. A lot of rich persons, a lot of wealthy persons use it just to decorate their houses. But it's big and it's bogus and it doesn't make use of electricity. All you need to do is to put your hands on it and start playing and then you begin to create sound. You don't need to connect to a light source or you use a mixer or all that. It is it is a string instrument that's just there. It's powerful and it's very expensive. As a matter of fact, the piano is considered to be the mother of all musical instruments. So if you can learn the piano, you are 70% good in music. Glory to God. If you can learn the piano, you're 70% good in music already. So the keyboard is more like a prototype of the piano. It's a small piano in that it uses electricity. You understand? We can have this class now because um, somehow there's a kind of power coming in, either from the light, though there's no light here, thank God for Nigeria, Nepal, and, and all that. The light or a battery for your keyboard. But there must be, a, there must be power coming in. So that is the keyboard. And what the advantage of the keyboard over the piano is that it is mobile. You can take your keyboard around. Most times when, when we are going for rehearsals there, we will 
hold our keyboard and we'll move long distance and you know we could do that but you cannot do that with the piano to, to carry the piano you need a very big um, trailer or those big heavy duty vehicles that can move big objects you understand but the keyboard you can just carry it and do whatever you want to do with it however you please so when you learn the keyboard you are also learning the piano it means when you get to a big hotel for say or you get to a big house or you get to somewhere big and you see a brand new big piano you can play just that the keys on the piano they are more weighty they are very strong they are they are more solid than that of the keyboard the keyboard is very soft you can just touch it and then you can see it's very it's very soft but the the piano you need energy you need to eat very well before you can play the piano so you're welcome to this keyboard class so everything we're learning understand that we're learning the piano understand the difference between the keyboard and the piano because by god's grace after this i will send a soft test to test your knowledge of how far you've gone and of course one, one of your questions will be differentiate between the piano and the keyboard so i believe you will get that done very well okay now the keyboard is made up of two keys two keys actually two colors of keys two sets of keys two two division of keys and as you can see we have the black and then we have the white key so we have black keys and white keys and um, a lot of people ask okay what does this mean you can write this down the white keys are also called accidental sorry the white keys are called natural sorry about that so the white keys are called natural keys and um let's do something here the white keys are called natural keys good they're called natural keys as you can see they're the white keys they are more like the natural keys in music and there are seven of them there are seven natural keys in music what am i saying okay this is five and this is two so there are seven natural keys in music take this down and these keys are arranged alphabetically you understand they are arranged alphabetically so i believe you can um, recite the numbers of the alphabet the letters of the alphabet rather letter a letter b letter c d e f and g so we have um we have a okay we have a we have b we have c d e f and G. These are the seven keys. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. These are the seven natural keys we have in music. Key A, key B, key C, key D, key E, key F, and G. Now, one of the beauty of music is that when it gets to G, it goes back to A. So there is nothing like key H. There is nothing like key I. There is nothing like key G. There's nothing like K or L or M N O P. There's just key A, key B, key C, key D, E, F, and G. So I believe you've gotten that. And they are the natural keys. And I told you that the natural keys are the white keys, while the accidentals are the um, sorry, we are still on the natural keys. I'm becoming too fast. So please, if I'm too fast, let me know in the comment section. And if I'm too slow, let me know too. If you can't hear me well yet, let me know. And if you, if you don't understand, please do work with chat. Mr. Victor will let me know. Mr. Victor, any comment yet? All right. How many persons do we have online? 
Okay. Okay. So now the piano starts its key representation from the key of E. So when you get to the piano, a, the big piano I was talking about, the first key you will see is key A. You understand? Key A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and some other keyboards. But majority of the keyboards that we have, especially keyboard by Yamaha, the five octave keyboard, it starts with key C. I believe the keyboard you are using over there will start with key C too. So, but how do we identify key C? That will take us to another subheading called um, structure or key arrangement on the keyboard. This is something I, I learned over time. My 20 years in, in music has taught me this. So I'm teaching you for, from experience and from knowledge. Yeah, this year I'll be 20 years in music on the keys and doing what, I, what I've been doing. So you can celebrate me for that. Glory to God. <laughs> so, if you look at this keyboard very well, you will see that these black keys, they are arranged in pairs of two and three. We have two, we have three. Can you see that? We have two, and then we have three. So, two, three, two, three, two, three. Now, the white key, or the natural key, before the pair of two is called key C. So, this is the pair of two, there is a white key before it. That key is called key C. And then, the, if you check here, there's a pair of two. So this is key C. And then, there's a pair of two. This is key C. So, anywhere you see two, two, two on the keyboard, that natural key before the two is key C. Yeah, the natural key before the two is key C. So usually when, if you want to teach someone or you want to really take note of it, you can get a paper tape. Do you understand? You can get a paper tape and then write key C on it and then clip it or paste it on these white keys before the pair of two. The white keys before two, the white keys before two. There's a white, there's a white key before two years. You understand? It's called key C. And then uh, another key structure we'll talk about is the pair of three. Now, the white key before the pair of three, this one before the pair of three, is key F. Do you understand? This is key F. This is key F. Key F. And this is key C. C. C and C. So with this, you can easily locate a key on the keyboard. So even if you are not, even if you don't want to really play the piano and you want to sing, and you need to get a key, so you can locate key F. So you want to sing on key F. So you're like, okay, you know that the keyboard is made with pairs of two black, three, two black. That's how it is in the piano and everything. And you know that the white key or the natural key. So when we say white key, we are referring to natural key. When we say natural key, we are referring to the white key. The white key or the natural key before the pair of three is called key F. So all you need to do is locate three, locate three, locate three, and then go to the white key before three key F and then hold it. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do. You understand? you can now play that or you can just sing from it and then you 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 try singing on you try singing on f and um, your it's kind of too high or too low for you 
and then you want to think of C. All you need to do is locate the pair of two black, which is this. You then come here, this is C. And then you can sing your song on this. this will be D. Don't forget we are dealing with the natural key. This is C, this will be D. After D is what? E, then what? F, then we have G, then we have... Is there a H? There is no H. Don't forget that there is no H. There is nothing like key H. So we are going back to a. So you see where A comes in. So we are starting with C, D, E, L, G, and then we are back to A, and then B, and then C, and then D, E, L, G. After G, we're going back to A, B, C, D, D, F. As a matter of fact, that is how it continues. So, that is how it continues. So, even if we have a very, very long keyboard, it just continues like that. Do you understand? It continues like that. So, understanding that, if we, if we have to start from F, it's the same thing. So all you all you need to do is to start from F in the alphabet. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then it goes back to A. But what you should um, note, what you should take cognizance of, is the fact that when it gets to G, it goes back to A. There is nothing like H, or there is nothing like um, I, or J, B, J, and so. Good. That is for the natural key. The other color of key we have on the keyboard is the black keys. The black keys are known as the accidentals. So, the black keys we have... Are known as the accidental. They are called accidental keys. A double C I D E N T A L. Accidental keys. Good. Okay, we can add S because we are referring to much of them. I don't know. Maybe you know when you are going. When you're going, when you're moving the keyboard, I, I, have to, I have to pick up this story to make some of my students understand because they were asking, Uncle Prince, why is it called accidental keys? Like, what is the relationship between accident and the keyboard? So I told them, when you're, when you're driving, imagine, okay, let my watch be the car. Now let's say you're driving and then this is my car. And we want to drive through this road, and this is the keyboard. And then we start moving. The first accident you will meet is this black key. Ah, then you will now, you have to go through it and come to a white key. And then you are meeting another black key. Oh, these are accidents. And then you go through it and come here. And then you see that between these two white keys, the journey is very smooth. Very smooth journey. And then we are meeting another accident, and then we'll go through it. So. Perhaps that is why it's called, why it's, that's why they are called accidentals. <laughs> and it's very funny, but they understood. 
If we are to travel through the natural keys alone, there will be, there'll be, there'll be no obstacles. We'll just go straight, directly, directly. I mean, you see, straight in less than 30 seconds, we are at our destination. But if we are to go through the black keys, we'll start facing different accidents and all that. So that is why they are called accidents. For fun, please. It's not... I didn't invent the piano, so I, w I wouldn't say that is why they call it accidental. But at least my, my students understood that and it's, and it's talk to their head. So you can use that, in, that, in, yeah, that illustration to understand this too and also to teach people and to aid their understanding. But tonally, musically, the functionality of these accidentals or the black keys in respect to the white keys are to either increase or decrease the tonality of the white keys. What do I mean? The black keys are not keys of their own. They don't have their own independent name. They are not independent. I think that is the right word. The accidentals of the black keys are not independent. They depend on the natural keys to get their name. The accidentals are not independent. So they depend on the white keys to get their name. They are not independent. If it is causing me a city. Okay, let's bring it in here, let's bring it in here. And then um, the accidentals are not independent. You, you should take note of this. They are not independent. They depend on the white keys to get their name. So this on its own doesn't have a name. It, it depends on the white key. And I'll tell you how. When, when an accidental or when a black key is immediately after a natural key, when an accidental is immediately after. So don't forget the journey, we are going like this, and then after is this way, before is this way. So when an accidental is immediately after the white key, it increases that key by a semitone. Do you understand? So, don't worry, this is online streaming. If I was in a public bus and I did that, my head would have corona. So, <laughs> to you, and I don't have it. <laughs> so, when an accidental is immediately after a natural key, it increases that natural key by a semitone, by a step, a small inch. And then, when an accidental is before a natural key, such that before it, you understand after this way is before when it's before when it's before it it decreases it so it's more like decreasing and increasing do you understand and when it increases it when it increases it it is called a sharp and the symbol for a sharp is harsh. When it increases, it, it is called a sharp. And the symbol for a sharp is harsh. So we said the natural key before the pair of two is called key C. It therefore means the accidental immediately after key C is called C sharp. You understand the accidental immediately after key C is called C sharp, and to represent it, we have to put the C before sharp. So, this is C sharp. Can you see this? This is C sharp, and then if this is C sharp. Don't forget this is D, D natural. 
this accidental emilia third becomes d sharp this is d sharp then of course we have e natural but there is no accidental immediately after e don't get this twisted a lot of persons get it wrong there is no black key immediately after don't forget the word immediately after there is no accidental immediately after e so there is nothing like e sharp in terms of key so some persons will tell you f this is e sharp no this cannot be e sharp because this has a name and the name is f f natura so this is e and then this is f there is not like e sharp and after f we have an accident type merely after f so this will be called what let me hear you you're right f sharp so i know some of some of you are wrong <laughs> but majority of you are right f sharp and then after f sharp we have g and after g there's a black key after g so it will be g sharp and then we have a is a natural key then after a we have another black key which is which is called what a sharp and then after a sharp we have a natural key white key which is called b come on after a b you know that right so b is there any natural is there any accidental or black key before b no there is no black key before b so we'll go back to c now when you move from you know we started from c and we just got to another c when you move this kind of distance from a key you start from and you move and move and trace and trace and trace and travel the keyboard is like a journey and you're traveling and you're traveling and traveling and you've got to see again wow this kind of movement is called what's on the screen right now it's called an octave so from c to c is an octave In an octave kind of journey. So, what in music we call journey intervals, which we'll talk on as we go on. But um, you just know that there are intervals and this an octave. So, that is that when you're traveling to. Now, let's travel back. Let's come back. When you go to the journey, you want to come back. Don't forget to put down your questions if you're not understanding. Victor, please let me know if there's any question. Is there any question? Is there any comment yet? Okay, okay. Ask questions. I will ask you questions. So, so ask me questions now. Then, if we are traveling back, remember we stopped at this junction, which is C. C is a junction, and we stopped at C. So, let's travel back. Now, when an accidental is before a natural key, when a black key is before that, let me use PG. If you don't understand PG yet, you ask someone to explain for you. When black key, <laughs> when black key did the back of white key, uh -huh. when you say, this black key, one black key, for example, this one now, now this one back key day. Imagine say the thin line. This black key day is back. There is no black, there is no accidental after it. It's a, a back key day. But this, for this one now, see the one when they in front, they in front. So this one feels sharp. Come off from my front, come off from my front, you will talk to this one. Now, if black key day, white key front, it is called a sharp, C sharp. But in a situation whereby the accidental or the black key is 
before the white ski. It is called flat. F L A T. F L A T. And F L A T is represented in music as B. No, lowercase B. Something like B. You understand? But since you can't write that, so you just write B. So flat is B, like that. It therefore means that when a black is before a natural, it reduces it and it flattens. So in music, naturally, you've learned a lot of things from this class. Seriously. When you hear sharp, you know we are increasing. Sharp, we are increasing. Flat, decrease. Flat, decrease. So those are musical terminologies. So you can be talking to someone and you want to show the person that you've attended this class with Priskis and that you are now a musical guru. You tell the person, sharpen your position. Oh my God. Oh my God. That means increase your position. That's go forward. Come on, sharp, 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 sharp. I'm like, what are you saying? <laughs> and then you want someone to come back or to reduce it. Okay, flat, flat. Flatten your current position. I'll give you another musical terminology to use for current position. Flatten your current position. Person will be like, ah, what am I flatten? No, reduce your position. You mean reduce, like decrease. So it means we can call short people flat people. <laughs> we can say this guy is too flat. And then tall faces are sharp. Sharp guy. So flat is a flat. So if this is C, don't forget we are traveling back. Is there any black key immediately before C? No, there is a B before C. So this is B. And then let's come back. Is there a black key before B? Yes, there's one here. So this will be called B flat. I usually call it BB. Blue band. Um, different, but the B will not be in uppercase. So B flat, because this is B. And then there is a black key before it. So this is B flat. What does that tell you? It tells you that an accidental can bear two names. So if we take an accidental to be a, a woman, or let's take an accidental to be a man. So an accidental can have two wives. Wow. This accidental is not a Christian. So the accidental have two wives. You can see. One is before, one is after. So the, bef the before is B. So we, we can call it B flat and we can also call it E sharp. So like before, after. Do you understand? It can be called B flat, it can be called E sharp. And then after this, B flat or A sharp. So we come down to, we are still traveling back to A. This is A. Is there a black key before A? Yes. So this is A flat. A flat or what? G sharp. I want you to get this very well. If you can get this, you've understood everything about the nomenclature of the, of the keyboard. I tell you. Then after this we have what? G. This is G. G. Is there a black key before G? Yes, there is. And what is the name? It's called G flat. And then if you have to give it another name, it will be called F sharp. So G flat, F sharp. This one. This very one. Take note of it, you will need it. And then we have F, natural, and then we have E, and then if there is a black, there is no black key before F, that's why there's like F flat, this is E, and then there is a, there is an accidental before E, and that accidental is called E flat, so this is E flat, 
as then um, this is D and before D we have an acetator which is called D flat. So I know this is called D flat or C sharp. And we are ending it with C. So that is how the keys are arranged. There's no long story. That is just how it's, how it's arranged. So together let's let's give a name to this key. Don't forget we are starting with C after C. C sharp or D flat. After that, D. After D, we have D sharp or E flat. After that, we go to what? E. Like E. We're going to F. After F, we have F sharp or G flat. You understand that? After this, we have what? G. And after G, we have G sharp or A flat. And then after this, we have A. And after A, we have A sharp or B flat. A sharp or B flat. And after that, we have a B. And after that, we have so these are now C to C. We have one octave, and these are the names of the keys. Ask me a question. There's none yet, so we'll move on and fix the questions after now. We have a few minutes more. Okay. Now I'll teach about intervals before we call this class a wrap for today. At least you understand the key nomenclature, you understand the names of key, you know the accidental, you know the natural, you know this and you know that. You can teach someone this now and earn good money. <laughs> yeah, you can earn good money. I earn a lot from teaching music now. Actually, I won't I won't lie to you. I earn a lot from teaching just music, teaching keyboard. Like you know, when you learn the piano, you become more intelligent. When you learn the piano, you become more brilliant. So, as a matter of fact, in the Western world, it is almost compulsory, if not compulsory, it's obligatory that every kid, every child of an American should learn a musical instrument, especially the piano. So, even if you want to learn the guitar, you should start with the piano. If you want to learn anything you want to learn, you should learn the piano because the piano has a way of increasing your horizon. The piano has a way of increasing your intellect. It makes you think. Just imagine what you were thinking now. See, see sharply. It makes you think. When you think intellectually for a long time, you are increasing your speed. You are increasing the way you talk. You are increasing the way you, you, you do things. You are increasing the way you actually solve problems. So, if you are there and you want us to teach your kids and um, and and um, put your kids through and have an online class with them like this, especially for them alone. Or um, if you're in Lagos State, you want us to meet you or you want us to do, just let us know, kindly reach us through this number. I'll put my number on the screen right now so you can reach us with this. And then we can, we, we can get something on, like we can get something on. Because your kids need to learn this, or you want to learn personally with this online class. Because a lot of persons, so 3107. 31, okay, no, 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 and then we will talk and we should do a class with your kids. These things are not expensive. These things are almost free. You understand? This is, this is knowledge that you're passing. And perhaps a lot of things are at home now. COVID-19, you want to learn something. This is a nice thing to learn. You can start a music class. It will do well for you. Apart from teaching or playing personal introduction, you can worship. You can worship with simple chords. You can enjoy yourself and, and worship God and feel in the spirit and get the best of your fellowship with God.
So you can you can do most of those things and you can enjoy yourself. You understand? So feel free to um, um, give us a WhatsApp message, or you can also um, message us on Facebook or on Instagram. On Instagram at Chris Keys um, with the underscore. Then so get and um, get us together as we will, will do more of this. But before we go, I'll talk about interval so that we can um, so that we can we can get these things done very well. Interval is a quick one. Interval, like I started before, I'll be fast with this because um, it will soon be done. Interval. Okay. I think I just got a signal that we are down on our power. So we we'll have to wrap up now. But we have learned the names of the keys. We have learned the black keys and the white keys, and we know how to call them. And I believe we can go anywhere and boast of this. Do this, practice this, and get back to us. Let us know. Post your experience on Facebook, on Instagram, and hashtag Chris Keys. I will see. Just hashtag Chris Keys, and we'll get to see these things very well. Thank you very much for today. I'm um, sorry we couldn't talk about interval now. We'll talk about interval in our next class, which is on Saturday. This time, same time, 12 o'clock. Let's try and, and come on time. Today, we are waiting for some persons. By 12 o'clock, we'll start off so that we'll, we'll cover a lot before August. So, this is my number. Reach me on WhatsApp. This is um, in my account on Instagram, on Twitter too. And on anywhere, just type this. You'll see me anywhere on, on, online. And then, Post something nice, and if you really love this, appreciate this, post it online, post it on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hashtag.